The Three Kingdoms has been a popular historical novel in China for centuries. It is a great classic that tells the story of the rise and fall of the kingdoms Wei, Shu, and Wu during the turbulent years of the Han Dynasty. Characters portrayed in the novel have become full heroes whose deeds are sung by generations of the Chinese people. Their personalities and actions have made their way into familiar idioms that can be heard in everyday language. In this retelling of the Three Kingdoms, Better Chinese crafts these historical heroes into real, multi-dimensional characters, not just the figures of legend. The vibrant storytelling makes it accessible for young students to develop higher language proficiency and also learn about the significance of how this period shaped China's history. Many of these events and battles were romanticized into clever and exciting stories, full of epic battles and conflicts between characters. This time period has been greatly celebrated and popularized in operas, folk stories, novels, and more recently in movies, TV series, and games. Better Chinese's Three Kingdoms is a two-book bilingual reader that is divided into short stories based on events and battles. Each story includes an English translation accompanied with a vocabulary list and discussion questions. The books also include additional historical references and authentic cultural photographs, such as paintings and ancient artifacts. Historically, Zhu Ge Liang was often recognized as an important military strategist. One of the stories highlights his brilliant ability to devise successful battle plans. Let's jump right in and visit the story, Cao Chuan Jie Jian, Barring Arrows with Straw Boats. Zhu Ge Liang was challenged to produce 100,000 arrows in three days in order to form an alliance with a rival country. He did not request a single material, but only borrowed 20 small boats filled with straw men. For two days, he did nothing, and on the third night when the fog rolled over, Zhuge Liang ordered his men to beat the battle drums and sail out with the boats into enemy territories. The enemy Cao Cao heard the drums roll and thought he was being attacked. Due to the fog, he couldn't see how many enemy soldiers there were, so he orders his archers to shoot at the oncoming boats. In no time, all the straw men were covered with arrows, and Zhuge Liang was able to collect 100,000 arrows in one night. Everyone was impressed with his tactful skills and intelligence.